Good evening. Welcome to the Brookfield Board of Selectmen meeting uh, for Tuesday, June 29th. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thanks for that. Um, can I get a motion to approve uh, the, actually, do we have any announcements for tonight? Only if you want to announce what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. So, first of all, I'd like to announce that we have made an offer, and that offer has been accepted by Kelly Roberts as for our town administrator. Uh, and she will actually be available to start work on the 5th of July. So, uh, earlier than we had expected. So, that's very exciting. Um, so, hopefully, everyone will welcome Kelly into the role. And can you send out an announcement to all of the department heads to make it official? Um, Should we send one to the uh, local paper? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we need to draft a press release. Too, so, I guarantee they're going to be calling it for a follow Yep. Yep. For sure. So, um, but she, uh, I don't have her resume on me, but she's got something like, um, 20 years of progressive experience, uh, progressively increasing experience in various municipal roles, mm -hmm. uh, including having gone back to law school and, and is a, actually a licensed attorney uh, in the state of Massachusetts, which is very exciting. Because uh, that's somebody that really has both the, the school knowledge as well as yeah. the practical knowledge with regards mm -hmm. to municipal. Um, so very excited to have her join us. Um, and I, Let's see here. Go ahead. I think it's made small, and I, and <clears throat> she has worked in two small communities, you know, about the size of Brookfield, and I think she'll be a very good fit here in Brookfield. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I can't thank the the uh, committee, the search committee, enough for finding such a qualified candidate. Very exciting. So I know they worked hard and and dug through a lot of uh, resumes to to get to the diamonds. So that works. Okay. Uh, any other announcements? Okay, great. Uh, so let's move into the to the nitty gritty of the meeting. So the first is, uh, can I get a motion to approve uh, expense warrants from uh, 629, uh, 630 uh, withholding warrant and a 630 payroll warrant? You have that motion. I will second that motion. <coughs> okay. And uh, just for discussion, the, the amounts on those warrants is uh, for the expense warrant from 629, it's $116,251.44. The withholding warrant is $79,144.45. And the payroll warrant is $128,700. 7, $100, uh, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Hi. Okay. Uh, we have selectman minutes from 6:15 and 6:17. Uh, do I have a motion to approve those minutes? You have a motion to approve those minutes. I second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, next thing is uh, first on the formal agenda is the um, award of the road materials. And I took the boiler off of the. Um, uh, yeah, I know you took it. You took it off the agenda. Said, go ahead and put it back. In the right. Kit. You're going to do it anyway. Yeah, we'll bring it back under other. Okay. okay. Um, because it was on, so people knew we were mm -hmm. going to be talking yeah. about it. We didn't get a conclusive statement, but I, I think I'm comfortable with the okay. information you provided as the contracting officer. So. Okay. Um, so the we have uh, our annual road materials quotes that we received. Um, from the highway, so all of the um, following items. Uh, do we typically read these off individually? Mm -hmm. I don't even remember no. the whole list. No, we've okay. never done that before. Okay, <coughs> so <coughs> yeah, so so can I get a motion to accept the road materials bids as uh, provided relative to the the annual materials by? You have a motion for that. I uh, second. All is in the, favor? I'm sorry. Wait, is there a total of what it's going to cost? No, oh, no. Just, uh, fundamentally, <laughs> I mean, what it and and just for people's education, it's the some of the items, and it's actually not that many because there there are some there is some material here that's no bid, mm -hmm. um, but so for a chip seal, um, it's like it's two hundred two dollars and sixty five cents a square yard for you know 
double chip seal, it's four eighty five yeah. per yeah. square okay. per um, square yard. Mm -hmm. So it goes down with it's basically uh, all of these are you know eligible contractors to the state, mm -hmm. and, and typically that's um, and that bid process is well established. So these are all of the this is the list of all of the lowest bids um, as indicated. Um, from the highway department's uh, procurement effort. So, um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so end of year transfers. We have a number of end of year transfers to balance out the accounts. Um, and it looks like most of them have already been reviewed by the advisory board. So, the first one we have um, a year end transfer request for fire department wages to fire department expenses of $11,500. We have an additional transfer request from police detail flagger in the highway to operator wages for $400. We have an end of year transfer from group insurance to the Memorial Day and then from TV station wages to Board of Health expenses. And it's uh, $260 and $880 respectively for those two items. Uh, Transfer from the general fund to the water, ex is that expansion account, EX account? Um, yes. Expense account, okay, mm -hmm. for um, $1,400. Uh, and then we have a secondary operator wages to clerk wages for $68.32. Uh, we have a reserve mm -hmm. uh, fund transfer um, to advisory committee warrant books. Um, for how much was it? One thousand nine hundred ninety-four dollars and seventy-one cents. And then the last one is full-time police wages to overtime police wages for thirty-nine hundred dollars, and full-time police wages to part-time police wages for two hundred dollars. You have that motion. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Actually, as a clerk, do you mind signing all of those yep. while I go through the rest of the agenda? Awesome. I'm dividing. Conquer. Oh, he's the only one. That, are those new forms? Because usually it's the three of us that used to sign. Them. There's only one. There's only one. There's only one, and it just says signature of the board of selectmen. Yep. Oh. So I figure since it says signature of the board yes. of selectmen, and we voted it, the clerk can sign it. Yeah. So okay. I think we're covered. Um. So, next one is the FY22 general insurance invoice okay so uh, we've already received our insurance bill um, and it starts at one hundred and eight thousand eight hundred and eighty seven dollars um, but then we have a prepayment discount of twenty seven hundred uh, twenty two dollars and then other credits that we have in that account for four thousand four hundred and ten dollars so our net payment uh, for our insurance this year will be $101,755. So can I get a motion to that effect? You have that motion. And a second. All, right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Um, and do you know what we budgeted, Karen, for the general insurance? Oh. Well, I think we budgeted 140-something because it also back to, um, I don't know. I'm is not it sure. unemployment? Oh, because that's from my, that doesn't include the IUD. The IUD you paid, I believe it was a couple of weeks ago, it was 26000 or something. Okay. And then we also need to have a buffer. Right, because if we have a deductible or any claims. Yeah. Yep. I, I want to say 148 or something like that. Okay. It's about at least $15,000 buffer. Now we have a little bit more because of because the credits. Right. Okay. All right, so we are, we're going to be also, um, there's been a lot of negotiations uh, back and forth between ourselves, our, our advisors, and KP, as well as um, the, let's see here, let me see the company. It's Webb Brookfield Solar Company, LLC. Um, so can I get a uh, motion to ratify the Board of Selectmen signatures on the pilot agreement and uh, fundamentally we are going to be receiving I think it comes out to be $15,000 for each uh, megawatt 
uh, for the project, which is actually a really good rate for the town to have negotiated. So. And when we met at, um, we had a financial meeting this morning, and Al said over 20 years it's going to be $1.6 million. Mm -hmm. Back to the town. So. Yeah, it's, I think it's, and there's uh, each year is included a 1% okay. escalator. Yep, correct. So. Okay, I will give you the motion to ratify the uh, signature of the board selecting on the pilot solar contract. I will second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. It's done. These are all done. Great. Thank you. Okay. So next on the agenda is vacation carryovers. Uh, we have two requests to carry over. Uh, one is 32 hours from Chief Martell, and the other one is 36 hours from Karen Trainer. Can I get a motion to that effect? You have a motion to uh, do vacation carry carryovers. Uh, yep, I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay, so the next is our FY22 um, appointments, inclusive of the most um, kind of one that is, is uh, not necessarily typical, but a recommendation from our Board of Assessors uh, is for uh, a replacement to our Board of Assessors, uh, which is Bruce Clark, uh, appointed uh, with a term to expire June 30th, 2022. Let's do that one separately. For the assessors? For the assessors. No, it shouldn't. That would, that would expire at the May election. Oh, okay. I'm yes. the one that wrote that. Yeah. Okay. Because he has to read. Oh, that's right. The May election. So that would be through. Can can somebody check real quick what the uh, what the, the first, first Monday, Monday in May, May yeah. is? Because he'll have to run for. Now they didn't bring that to us. Usually so they're second. supposed to bring that to us first. I think actually when you look, that's one of the few appointments that's not necessarily supposed mm -hmm. to come from well, us. It's it's. Well, normally they do if they get members from any board, they usually bring it before us for approval. Okay. Well, Bruce Clark came in and handed me that paper that you have before you now. Mm. That's all that. Yeah. I mean, he did He did request to the Board of Selectmen to get appointment. Yep. Yes. Oh, I didn't, yeah. yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, I would like to be considered. You brought it in yesterday. It was oh, like, okay. Yeah, I so. talked to him yesterday, too. Yeah. And so, it's uh, May 2nd. It's May 2nd. Yep. Okay, so uh, do I have a motion to appoint Bruce Clark to the Board of Assessors? You have that motion. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, and then um, one of the more complicated ones is, is do we have the date that Ken Cleveland was I don't appointed? I date now. I mean, I have to look it up, but it was, I'm, I'm going to say it was about two years ago, if I remember correctly, but I can go back and get it. Okay. Um, it was only out of necessity. It was because, I remember because Clarence was the chairman, it was because there was a document that required that title to be signed and we realized that we didn't have a, uh, a person with that title. And so I, I remember making a phone call, I don't remember what the document was, and they said that we should appoint someone and, and Clarence took the lead and you folks appointed him. Okay. But there's no term ending to that, that's why you have to rescind it. Ah, okay. That's the only reason. Got it. So can I get a carefully worded motion to rescind the appointment of Ken Cleveland as the environmental certifying officer and to indicate that in the future the the chair or the clerk of the Conservation Commission will act in that capacity? Okay, you have a motion to rescind the appointment of Ken Cleveland as the environmental certifying officer and that the chair at or the clerk of the Conservation Commission will act in that capacity. I will second that. And whoever, oh, and whoever that may be at the time. I will second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so for. I'm sure he's fine with that, too, because yeah. he, I know when he resigned, that he wanted to carry it. Yeah, um, so let me just do a, so what I'd like to do is, um, get a high level motion to appoint um, the um, committee members as indicated um, 
and read. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and read what we have for appointments um, for this year. Um, and then I do want to have a little bit of discussion because I don't know if there's, mm -hmm. depending on if there's any anything that anybody has any questions on, to kind of treat it like we did the budget at the annual town meeting. Okay. So um, can I get a motion to accept the appointments as indicated in the uh, in the committee attachment? Yes, you have a motion to accept the committee uh, agree. Appointments as appointments as, as they are. The appointments that we have uh, in this agreement that has come before us. I'll second that. Okay, let me read them off, and then if there's any questions, concerns, or reasons to remove them from the list, then uh, just indicate that. Okay. Uh, so the first is Agricult Agriculture Commission uh, re is to appoint Clarence Snyder until 2024 uh, for it's a three-year um, appointment. For Ag Committee alternates, Donald Haberlin and Mark Ledoux, uh, both expiring in 2022. For Building Inspector, a three-year appointment for Jeff Taylor, uh, ending in 2024. Um, for Capital Improvement Planning Committee, uh, Martin Vanish, expiring in 2024. Um, for Central Mass Regional Planning Commission, Kevin Urkula, uh, 2022 as the alternate um, for CBDG Advisory Committee uh, the appointment of Bruce Clark Ryan Point Briand Mary Lou Knight and Bill Simpson all for 2022 it's a one-year appointment uh, for constable Arthur Tatro uh, expiring Tatro I'm sorry in 2022 uh, for Council on the Aging uh, Frederica Lamonda, Nancy Mannix, Lois O'Leary, and Claire Picking for uh, all for 2024 expiration. Uh, for Cultural Council, uh, a, a three year appointment for uh, Jean Lintel, Barbara Wilson, Damien Sargent, Jonathan Landry, Rose Kadelsky, Noreen Neifert. Jessica Clark, Noah Clark, uh, all for 2024. Uh, election workers, Jane Kay, Carol uh, LaPierre, Annette Lazili, Teresa Grubbs, Catherine Latorres Warden, Sabrina Grillo, Karen Simpson, Louise Woodard, and uh, Sally Brown, Robert Ling, Sandra Renald, and Geraldine. The Sarah sick. Oh, she passed away. Oh, she did. Yeah. I, I was like, okay, thank you. I thought that that was the case. Um, all for 2024. Um, we've got Emergency Management Agency, Peter Martell as Director, uh, Keith Carmen as Deputy Director. Uh, Emergency Medical Squad, uh, Alexis Westerback. Uh, firefighter officers, Lieutenant William McLeod, uh, 2024. Uh, as firefighters, Peter Martell, Steve Budnick, Donna LaFleur, Philip Chafee, Linda McLeod, Dan Driscoll, Matt Graves, Matt Roderick, Dave Merlo, I'm sorry, Merlo, um, Daniel Esser, Charles uh, Edget, Steve Shant Santley, uh, Raymond Ranelloni, Ashley Marks, Michael Scott, Matthew Phillips, John Rose, Jay Haley, Micah Laird, Alexis Westerbrack, uh, Sean Adams, and uh, Luke Quattricelli. Um, for Harbor, okay, I'm sorry, but we're not going to do Harbor Master tonight. Uh, for Historical Commission, Louis O'Leary and Donald Fagno. Historical Public Records Committee. Uh, Linda Lincoln, Sally Brown, Brenda Metterville, Homeland Security Representative Keith Carmen, uh, Insurance Advisory Committee, Barbara Clancy, Sherry Gillian, Linda Lincoln, uh, Sergeant Sean Marino, uh, Holly Chisholm, Dennis Clark, Donna Hebert, uh, Overseer for Board of Dispatch, Michael Blanchard, Parking Clerk Hearing Officer, Michael Seary. 
Personnel Board, Linda Lincoln, Holly Chisholm, and Doug Ford. Uh, we do need to find some more volunteers for that committee. Cindy said she would stay on until July. Okay. So do we want to add Cindy through uh, 2022 then? No, just till the end of July. She oh, end of this July. Yeah. Okay. Do we need to put that on paper though? Let's, yeah, let's do a now. slip. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Reserve officers Serenity Allen, Brian Kibbe, Egbert Panero, Matthew Niles, Brian Stearns, Dan Driscoll, Jeremy Marshall, Angelica Rodriguez. Uh, plumbing and gas inspector Robert Wald and James McNeeny. Uh, Quaybog Valley Community Development. Did Clarence say he was going to stay on that? Because he passed a lot of that stuff off to I, me. I, I don't know. I'll double check with him when I asked. He said he didn't tell me he didn't want to be okay. appointed, but I'll double check with him. Yeah, let's hold that one for now because he had, he had kind of started to hand that off to me, okay. though. If anybody else has got bandwidth, then I'd be happy to take you up on it. Um, Recreation Committee, uh, Michael Lawrence and Jeremy Haig for 2024. Registra uh, Board of Registrars with Town Clerk Lois O'Leary for 2024. Sexual Harassment Officer Kathleen Bradley uh, for we 2024. We need, we need another one. We need someone else to step up to that, too. We do. We usually have a man, a man and a woman. Right. Have we seen her at all? I know she came in here one time when she first took it over. Is she still here in town? Uh, yeah, I believe she has. Absolutely. I mean, I sent, she's one of the ones I sent an email to. Oh, she did. Okay. Well, she didn't say yes. Is you know, you're going to be appointed unless you tell me otherwise. That's how we had to do it, find it, and make it easier. And then um, she didn't say otherwise. Okay. So she's still okay. around. Okay. I don't know if we've ever, I don't think we've ever used her services unless no. they had. From the school, we never have. We've right. Never sent we so. should have a mail list. We Seems should. Like a man well, okay. I plan on putting out some um, information on the website so I can also add that that's an opening. Someone might step up to do that. We could approach Nick. Nick likes to do enforcement, and and since we've never had a complaint, it's it's an easy one to put his name on it. Nick, Nick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> so okay town hall improvement committee uh carol plum for 2024 uh, trench safety officer ryan point brienne for 2024 wiring inspector scott mansfield of 2024 uh alternate paul shepherdson uh till 2024 zoning board of appeals um it's a five-year appointment now, was David Olson already on there? Yes, David Olson was already on, but he had to be reappointed. Okay. And that's through 2026. They have five-year appointments. I don't know why, but they have. Oh, wow. I know. It's the August. It's like, <clears throat> it's five, isn't it, too? Yeah. I didn't realize it was five. Okay, and they currently have a vacancy, correct? Yes. And then uh, alternate member is Patrick Mulhern, but have we contacted Patrick to see if he wants to be a primary member since there's a vacancy I on the board? Find out. Yeah, let's verify that because uh, it would make more sense for him to be yeah. a primary now. Okay, uh, town council, uh, KP Law. Okay, um, so we have a motion. We've read those off. Um, there's no, I think, other concerns within that slate. The no. bylaw committee, I didn't reappoint any I was going to tell you don't appoint That's any of them. If said. they were on the list, I was going to yeah. say don't. No. So, yeah, I didn't put them on. Um, Again, we'll do a shout out on the well, website, so we'll see what we get. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, that's actually one of the things we need to talk about is, um, and we can. We're almost up to other. So, yep. so we've got a motion and yep. a second. We've read it off. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You can get your rubber cramp on. 
Good boy. I should have handed it to you while we were reading it, but probably not appropriate until we actually wrote it. So under other, uh, let's go back. We have the quote for uh, the furnace that was approved. It was forwarded to us by the Town Hall Improvement Committee. Um, so our it went out to bid. We got four quotes back. Uh, the lowest uh, was McDonald Heating, but it, it was deemed invalid because they don't pay prevailing wages. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Um, and, and he actually presented his, submitted his quote prior to the final specifications being read. Hmm. But the engineer did check with him. He said they're close. He's close, but it's not exactly to the spec. Hmm. So with that, the committee... Okay, so the second bidder was um, Tassie at $54,485. Um, where does that put us against the budget for that? Um, Bill was checking with Laurie. We have money in the furnace account that will support that difference in money. Okay. Uh, Oh yep, I see that. Yep, there's there's gonna and it'll still leave about fifty six hundred that you'll have to pay out of town hall improvement. Okay, uh, but that puts us in a decent place. So do I have a motion to accept the lowest bid of uh, Tassie for fifty four thousand four hundred eighty five dollars for yes, the? Yes, you have that motion. Okay. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Uh, can we do? A, that's not gonna. Uh, we won't have anybody come back at us for saying so, hiring Mr. Tassie. So that's just a question. So it's a very legitimate question. I think um, I, I think at the end of the day, um, what I'm not comfortable doing is denying him the business where it was a legitimate quote submitted in a timely manner, mm -hmm. meeting all of the specifications, yeah. and he meets the lowest bid. We don't have the standard reasons for us not to accept his bid would be if we had some reason to think that he was unreliable, yeah. that he had previously yeah. done shoddy workmanship. And none of that is true. Oh, no, I don't have any problem yeah. with uh, um, giving him the bid, but my only thing is these people that are so, bringing suit on the town and the planning board be, because right. of the uh, Well, the, 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 suit, the suit is because of where the business is going to be, yeah. not the conduct business or owner yet or conduct right. of the business. But I just don't want so them to find any kind of a loophole and come back right. and forth, so, and that's all. Yeah. So, so there's, there was one other bid that was very close to theirs. Um, it's about a $1,500 difference, mm -hmm. uh, but, it's, but we're already 8,000 over what yeah. mm -hmm. was voted at town meeting, right? So we would go from eight to $10,000 mm -hmm. over. Um, I think it's a legitimate concern, oh. but I think from a okay. from like a I hate to put it this way, legal, ethical, and procurement perspective, I, I see no reason why we wouldn't accept. This no, board. I I know he does good. We have he does good work, yeah. and I don't have any problem with accepting him and having him do the work at all. Yeah, um, and that's and, and basically we're based we're supporting the recommendation from the town yeah. hall mm -hmm. committee. So yeah. it, I think we we ask people to serve on these committees for a reason. Yeah. If we don't accept their recommendations, then it's um, I don't know. I think it's a little. It would be disrespectful to them as well. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so thank you for the work that you guys are doing with that. Um, so we've got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> yeah. No lie. That's actually one of the reasons why I have the fountain pens is to not get uh, the cramps for that. Okay. Um, so we got. The 2022 appointments, we have that. Um, we brought that up under other. Right. We brought that up under other. Um, we don't need the executive session because we're not prepared to, we didn't get the details ironed out on the police contract mm -hmm. this week. Um, hopefully, um, we'll get that sorted out. Is, is Lori on vacation next week? Yes. Is she on vacation? Is she in this week or no? No, she was in today. She was in today. She was She's in today. Not gonna be in again. She's mm -hmm. not going to be in again. Okay. I mean, I might be able to email her tonight and maybe get an answer. Okay. Or she takes off. What do you mean? Um, I just need to find out if we get it all sorted out um, and if there's any 
obligations from last year's contract that we need to fund i think we have until the 15th to put encumbrances yes, in place yes, until June, yeah, July 15th, yeah. Yeah. so so we may have some last minute encumbrances to support the police contracts so i just need her to be prepared for that okay. um and then correspondence i did want to i'm sorry go under ahead. other i think under you other? had yeah. noted website something about the website Um, but I had an, an go, other Go ahead thing. and bring it up. Um, the email system? Yes. Um, I believe that's supposed to... I talked to him today, and I expressed you know, my concerns to him. <laughs> one more day, two more days. Yeah. And he said, no worries. We're working on it behind the scenes. He's also going to come in tomorrow. And he expects... To, and I told him, I said, you know, we cannot go past the first because hmm. we're not paying that bill. And he said, no, that's fine. We'll be all in place, and it's going to be Outlook. Okay, yeah, is he, like I said, he's working behind the scenes, he's gonna have to come in and Is he gonna send out any kind of yeah, message to all the boards? He's sending up yes, okay. he'll be sending out notice to okay. at least to me and I'll pass it along to everybody. Okay. And I think we'll be well served by our work because yeah. first class is very popular or different. No, it's not. No. It's it's the same that it was in um two thousand three when yeah. I started using it. Yeah. It has not changed. It has not changed. So there you go. Okay. okay. That was my only other idea. That was your only other mm -hmm. Okay, fabulous. Because I knew the contract was ending. Yeah, that's that's actually a good point. <laughs> so, um, do you know? Are we all speaking of, of um, email and websites? Do you, does is he going to have a laptop available for the town administrator? Oh, I already talked to him about that. I asked her to make a list of everything she needed for software and also office supplies. By the way, I did order all the office supplies today, and I talked to uh, Jacob yesterday about everything she needed, he's getting it all together. He said she will have it when she gets here Tuesday, because you know Monday's a holiday, so yep, she'll yep. be here Tuesday. She will have the computer ready and waiting. Okay, great, perfect. Yeah. All right, um, under correspondence, we did receive, because um, there's been a lot of questions about what's going on with, um, like the issues that we've had with um, getting the Board of Selectmen meetings up on cable access. Um, so the, we got a note from the chair of the uh, Brookfield Public Access Committee. Um, fundamentally, you know, we just had a perfect storm uh, occur in that they had been at the point of hiring a um, studio coordinator, lost the mm -hmm. candidate like at the very last minute. Um, we've had a bunch of technical issues and uh, they've actually approached Jacob uh, Gorman for recommendations on how to address the issues that they were having with the hardware. Uh, and they've actually developed a two-phase plan, or actually a three-phase plan, it looks like, in order to get um, back connected, modernized, and to enhance the capabilities of what they're able to do in the studio. So um, first phase is going to be to repair the hardware. They've discovered that they have connectivity issues, which is why Teleview can't fix the, the balance of what's going on. Um, they're going to replace virtually all of the hardware dealing with connectivity to Charter and Spectrum, um, as well as um, and then work with Teleview in order to get connected so that they can bring the bulletin board system back online. They're going to be upgrading the editing equipment and software uh, into user ready condition, um, including moving from the old editing software, getting rid of all the broken and obsolete equipment, and then uh, subscribing to Adobe's Creative Suite so that they have better editing capabilities. Uh, and then phase three is going to be to do a, an overall studio cleanup uh, update the studio coordinator job description and salary ranges and then see what kind of volunteers that they can identify um, and, and hopefully hire somebody for that part-time studio coordinator role. Um, looks like a solid plan um, and um, where they need to they're enlisting some professional support particularly on the, the computer and hardware side. Um, any questions? I did um, offer the chair any assistance okay. since I have a background in some okay. of that stuff. So, um, so I think uh, 
Yeah, and, and I, I think that'll play the biggest role once they get the hardware stuff mm -hmm. sorted out. And, then, yep. and I think the getting to the point where they're updating the stuff to YouTube on mm -hmm. a fairly quick basis as well as getting mm -hmm. it back out yeah. on, the, on the cable channels and we'll be in a, a much healthier place. I believe at some point um, we looking at the technology that was listed in there we should be able to possibly do some kind of record to or send to the cable access while also sending possibly to YouTube live at the same time because I know there's a, there's a lot of people in town who do not have cable right who would have to wait till it's uploaded so right. that, might, that might be a possibility okay. as well yeah so that's there's a there's a lot of options there once we get the the stuff up yeah, to, yeah. once to the technology, technology is there it'll it should go pretty smooth awesome. Knock on wood. so um but yeah we could we'll get the hardware sorted out and if anybody wants to volunteer then we can we can take take their input okay any other business for tonight no that's it i had one Okay. Uh, I got an email from Karen uh, in reference to uh, new uh, office signs. And I, Karen, did you get it, my it was, email? It, it was, yes, it was actually from Adam. Okay. Yes. Uh, so I agree, you know, we need to get some more signs. One of my questions is the, the, the sign right now said Board of Selectmen, mm -hmm. and I didn't know if you wanted to consider changing to the Select Board or, you know, yep. something. Generic. That's, that's yeah. Just, that's an interesting just, question. I've gotten that question for a uh, long time. I just, yeah. I just put it out there. As you can answer it or ignore it. But uh, I, I provided you with the name of where I got the other side. Yes. Okay. And All right. I just want to be sure you have yeah. well yep. yes. Okay. Yeah. What? what town collector. Yeah. What brought it up for me was I saw it said tax collector and town yeah. collector and. Right. I know yeah. there's, since that was recently changed at the, uh, and, the town and meeting. And town administrator. And yes, so yep, we'll need that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. If I went, yeah, and it's um, July 1st, we will, uh, the tax collector will be called the town collector. She will be able to collect uh, monies from everyone here in the town, uh, anybody that brings in every, except the treasurer. She can't accept anything from the treasurer. I was told that today by the way. Ah, okay, yeah. But That's every true. And all departments here in town, if people come in, you know, with water bills or anything like that, she can collect all of this so so that we don't have to turn people away if they want to make payments. Is the I know there's an online payment system to pay like your property tax and stuff like that. Is the well, online it's, system it's not, updated? It's I so that she'd be able right, to accept right everything else as well? Yeah, right now, actually, it, is it property tax or, or is it, oh, it's only the excise tax? Excise tax, sorry. Yeah. You can yeah. buy property too, can't you? Yeah. I think have you can. I'd have to look. But I know, well, yeah, those are the people. A lot of people working on doing that as well. Right. It's not in place right now. Okay. Yeah, I know that you had mentioned that previously, so. But if she's the town collector, would she have access to all the other online systems if there are any? Might be yeah. To... Right now, there are no other online no. systems. Okay. So, the, the so I think the, I think the key would be identifying what it what the expense is to stand up each department and see if their their receipts mm -hmm. merit that, mm -hmm. um, and see which ones it's legal for us to use. Because yep. I think right now we use the one that's for Unibank, but I don't know if if one of our other banking providers has something that's more cost effective to set up. I think when she did that, I think she, she went around and she got um, some bids and different things and Unibank was the best to go with okay. when she did it at the time. Because all of those generally come with some sort of fee. Yeah, yeah. there's always, it's always so, something. Uh, though though the rev getting the revenue quicker is, uh, is generally worth it. Mm -hmm. so. so her, um, she, they were getting rid of the tax bills to get them se uh, sent out before July 1st. Working on that today. Okay. Any other under other? Okay. Can I get a motion to adjourn? We'll have a motion to adjourn at 7:45. I will second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye.